Damn it. The noise from this rusty old winch is alerting the dog. Let's get this old thing oiled up. No, not you, Kim. A makeshift table. Doesn't look very stable. Let's give it a crack. Okay, I'll hang the prayer wheel on the pulley hook. An aluminium knapsack. Used to use these things in the army. Let's see what we can catch. Meat in a tin. The classy option. Ugh. This meat is disgusting. Best before... 2010? This is how they used to open things in the past. You'd think they'd invent the tin opener at the same time as the tin. Should be a nice, quiet landing. Great. Magnetic prayer wheel fishing. I love rescue missions. There's something interesting about this prayer wheel. I'll hold on to it. Let's see what's in this knapsack. A gas mask, a canteen, a compass, and a torch. Smells like fruity tea. These Germans know how to ruin a gentleman's drink. Let's have a sip. That was a mistake. It's sour. There's a fold-out magnifying glass on the lid of the compass. The torch lens is broken and the battery's weak, but it's just about working. A torch and compass? Hmm. Well, I guess I could replace the torch lens with the magnifying glass, bring things into focus a bit, but how can I attach them to one another? I'll spread some glue on the broken pieces of glass from the torch. There we go. The torch light is now focused through the magnifying glass. According to the label, this is NaHCO3, which I think is a fancy way of saying baking powder. It dissolves in water to make a cleaning product. Maybe the Germans use it to clean their equipment. Always experiment in hopeless situations. The baking powder's bubbling and fizzing. Hmm. It does say on the packet, avoid contact with acids. I suppose sour fruit tea does constitute an acid. That's what happens when you don't read the instructions. I can't screw it on too tight. The gas might make it explode. Which I assume would be bad if I'm still holding on to it. Hmm, not exactly lighting the courtyard, but the dog seems to like it. All right, let's get this bugger back in his house. Good boy. Now, stay. With the lid sealed tight, the canteen should blow in a few seconds. 
should be enough to bring down that snowdrift right on top of the mud. Here goes. That cat in Hong Kong seems a long time ago now, but nonetheless, this makes the score Fenton 2, Animal World, nil. You're more intelligent than a dog. I can't think of any possible way to express my admiration more clearly. Just hang on my every word. Of course, the batteries died. Real adventurers love a challenge. You have the chance to try the more difficult version of this riddle. Can you handle it? Hmm, this box is a giant battery. Impressive equipment, but what the hell is this? I thought Germans were supposed to be efficient. If I can get these connected properly, we should be able to shed some light on the situation. Five somewhat tangled cables. I'm no electrician, but if I can get these hooked up right, we should be in business. Okay, which socket?
And then there was light. I'll give this to you. You do get there, eventually, despite all sensible evidence to the contrary. I'm ignoring that. Now, this secret door must be around here somewhere. According to Thomas, the entrance to the secret chamber should be somewhere in this wall. Nothing out of the ordinary. I suppose that's why it's a secret door. Just these small round ornaments in the wall. <laughs>